Hello viewers, welcome to Being Engineers. In this video, I will show you a solution of a problem that I face regularly when using the Py, that is the file transfer process. Because most of us try and run the programs in Windows, then we transfer the files in Py via USB stick or SD card. That takes a lot of time, but I have came up with a process that can transfer the files from your Windows platform to your Py just by using your network. That means your Windows system and your Pi has to be in the same network, then you can use it. The software is FileZilla. To download it, first go to your browser. For me, it is Google Chrome. Search for FileZilla in Google Chrome. Click on the first result. There we have two choices client or server. You have to download the client. So I have already downloaded the client, it is a 6.5 MB file. So open that file and start installing. Click on next, next and go on with the installing process. It is very easy and very less amount of time will be taken because it is a very small file. Now you can start the FileZilla program. Now you have to know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. To know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, go to your admin page of your router. Then go to a LAN setup and find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. For me, it is 192.168.0.105. Put that in, in the host part in the FileZilla program. Put the username as Pi and the password as Raspberry. Put 22 in port and click on Quick Connect. Here you can see the files that is in the SD card of your Raspberry Pi. Now to transfer the file, just drag it and paste it in the Pi section. Here you can see I am pasting. I am transferring two files. If the transfer is successful, you will get a notification. By this method, you can use the FileZilla program to transfer your file or your program for Windows to your Pi. So that will save a lot of time of yours. I hope you will like this video. If you like, please give a thumbs up or don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook page and Instructables link is given in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in our next video.